My name is Lucas Canal. I work with Liberty Global, uh, a company that's active in 14 countries, of which 12 in Europe. We service around 25 million customers uh, over cable and DTH with internet, uh, telephony and video services. Uh, on average they have about two uh, subscriptions with us for either of those services. Uh, so we have about 50 million uh, contracts outstanding. The company is based in Denver with its main operations uh, run out of Amsterdam where I am based. And I look after uh, programming uh, with, uh, with our team uh, and we deal with all our content providers across uh, the 12 European countries that we're active in. I think there are several challenges. Uh, clearly, uh, it is a ancillary service compared to our traditional television services that we need to deliver. This is what our, what our customers want. Uh, this is what they expect. Um, I think from, from my perspective, uh, in, in the value chain, uh, the biggest challenge is working with our content providers and securing the rights that we need in order to deliver these services uh, to our customers. Um, many of them do work with us. We work in, in, in very good partnerships, but there are still several one that struggle with acquiring the, the appropriate rights to enable us to deliver these services uh, to our customers. And of course, there are other challenges on the technical side. Uh, there are challenges with, uh, with, the, uh, with the UI, though I think we're finding our way there. I think we're, we're in a pretty unique position with uh, 25 million uh, customers uh, across uh, Europe and, uh, and Latin America, where we're able to uh, provide a, a service that basically tailors to what we think our customers uh, expect. Um, one of the guiding principles uh, is simplicity. Uh, so trying to make it as simple as possible. And indeed, you have this um, uh, ubiquitousness of screens, ubiquitousness of, of, of services out there, and it's getting harder and harder for people to find what, what they really want. Uh, and, and we're trying to guide them through that. Uh, one of the means that uh, we're doing that is by the implementation of Horizon, uh, which is uh, a, um, if you like, a connected set-top box uh, where we combine the professional video services that we traditionally deliver uh, with you know, bringing the world of internet to the television set. Uh, and in addition to that, also opening up uh, the repository of content that uh, our customers will have residing within their own network. Um, again, trying to do that through uh, a simple intuitive interface that goes along not only on the uh, STB, but carries on through the second screen apps, uh, be it on your PC, on your tablet, on your mobile phone. I mean, mostly when people talk about the Internet of Things, uh, it goes out of beyond uh, the tablet or the, the, the normal video uh, consumption uh, areas uh, or, or tools, if you like. Um, it's, it, it's a hard question to answer. I mean, are we going to see more uh, integration uh, between a video, uh, a fridge, and an advertiser, for instance? Uh, well, certainly, we're going to expect uh, uh, um, developments in that, in that area. Um, and you know the, the basis, the basic role that we will play in that is, of course, transporting the data. Uh, uh, yes, we are big in, in entertainment, uh, but we're also uh, uh, a large broadband uh, and connectivity provider. Uh, so we'll always be present in that value chain. And it's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen in the next, uh, you know, two to five years. It is. It is this trend of video being, um, permitting your, your daily life. I mean, the, the times, and it's, what is it, five years ago when video was primarily consumed on the television set. Uh, and the, the, the shift in consumption, even though it's not a landslide at this stage, but the shift in consumption that is taking place is fascinating. Uh, and with that, again, you know, in, in my little piece of the value chain, working with our content partners in order to understand where consumers expect us to be uh, is fascinating. It's, it's, it's absolutely fascinating. It's great times to be in the, in the entertainment industry and it's great time to be in the cable business. I 
uh, the couple of reasons I'm here. It's to have a look at uh, what is in store uh, going forward. So some of the topics we just discussed. Uh, what, what is on offer? What are new developments that, that we need to, to look out for? Uh, it's a good moment to meet up with some of our partners who are present here as well. Um, and it's great to uh, have the opportunity to talk about uh, the company that I work for.